What's going on everyone? So, got a little bit of a different movie review for you. Uh, I'm actually going to talk about Queen's Gambit. It is actually a TV show on Netflix. Uh, I actually rather enjoyed this. Uh, I like chess. And Anya Taylor-Joy is the, the star of this show. Uh, she's an actress and she crushes it. I mostly know her from... Well, the first time I was introduced to her was uh, in... Uh, split. So it was, that was the James McAvoy M. Night Shyamalan Malan 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 movie. And uh, so she was the lead actress in that film and was incredible. She's most recently been seen in The New Mutants. Uh, she plays Magic, which is an awesome mutant. She's a super cool character. I wish there was a Magic solo film. Somebody make that happen. Uh, so here she is now. Uh, she's in The Queen's Gambit. And is, The Queen's Gambit uh, is a Netflix original series, so the only place you can see this is on Netflix. Um, it's seven episodes, and they're all definitely around the hour mark. I mean, some are just below. Some are actually a little bit longer than the seven minutes, or the, yeah, the hour. So, basically, you got around seven hours. Let's dive into this. Because, um, yeah, uh, Anya plays a character named Beth Harmon, and she's kind of like this child prodigy and that kind of stuff, but it really dives into her story because um, it's a very interesting story, you know. This takes place during like the Cold War time, so basically, you know, give or take, it's like 1950 to 1970 uh, throughout the entire uh, series. Uh, it is a limited series. Uh, I guess let me just dive into saying like this is what I know, it's a one-off. It's based off a book by the same title, title? I don't know why that sounds like it's two words title uh uh the book was the same title uh a queen's gambit um and it's like 243 pages can't remember walter tevis uh he wrote this book and so in the show i haven't read the book but what i've read about the book is the show's pretty pretty close to it uh so if you want to read the book th there you go you have it but yeah, so, you know, I don't want to give away too much about the show because I don't want to give any spoilers away, but um, from what you've seen in the trailer, it says, yes, like, she's kind of an orphan, and she takes up chess and uh, becomes this, you know, phenomenal chess player. And so it's about her, like, competing in the chess world at, you know, at a very young age. And it's kind of like the Bobby Fischer story in real life, you know, back in the 1940s, like, you know, he was deemed a grandmaster or whatever, like the age of 13 or something like that. I, I can't remember. So it's kind of like in that vein or whatever. So this story with Beth Harmon that's on Netflix is not a true story. It's just, you know, a story in itself. And... Uh, you know, she is a female character and in that time period, you know, it was, you know, definitely looked down upon and things like that. So it's kind of cool to see how, you know, it all intertwined and that kind of stuff. So, uh, I will say it, it does have a, mat a mature rating, uh, mostly just for like, there's, uh, substance abuse, like some drugs and stuff like that, you know, alcohol, pills, and, uh, and marijuana. The, there are two love scenes in it, but like no nudity, like it's clothed. And, uh, it does have a mature rating. Like I said, TV mature. I personally think, you know, if you're high school and mature enough, you could obviously watch this. Um, don't take my word for it though. You know, the NBA rating has it there for a reason. But, yeah, there is one episode where, like, it really dives into a little bit of all that. But, you know, I don't think it's that bad. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. So, I do want to say, if you don't know much about chess, I think you're going to be okay. I, it's not like, you know, oh, I have no idea what, like, it's not necessarily about the moves and what they're going to do. Uh, you know, because even the Queen's Gambit, 
that is a chess move. It's one of the older ones, actually, like an opening defense or whatever that people do. You know, and they drop lines like the Sicilian and things like that. And honestly, I know chess, and I have no idea about any of these, actually. I um, am an improv player that I learned from this TV show. That's how I play chess. So, uh, yes, I could watch some of these things and, like, capture, uh, oh, no, like, like, I could see things foreshadowing and uh, different things and that kind of nature and stuff, but I didn't think at all, like, oh, man, if I didn't know how to play chess, I wouldn't understand this film. It's really not about the chess playing. It's about the story that surrounds that. So don't feel like, oh, if I don't know chess, I'm not going to enjoy or understand this film. It's not about that. I just think if you know it, uh, you'll probably enjoy it a little bit more and, like, see the moves and that kind of stuff. Uh, but it's definitely, like, a drama. It's... You know, you could say there's some little suspenseful moments in the film, but yeah, overall, it's it's a drama. And uh, it, it, to me, it's just a really cool story about a female who uh, doesn't doesn't care about the world at all. You know, she she lives her life and how she wants to live it. It's I I think it's a great story. Uh, just don't be. Uh, let down if there's not a second season because this was a copy of the book you know so there is no second part it did say it's a limited series and even Anya's kind of even mentioned like you know the story is what it is you know if they wanted to ask her back you know because Hollywood is Hollywood you know they'll they'll make a, a reboot a second thing or anything happen if you know it makes enough money so, uh, she said she would come back, but as, as of right now, everything feels like it's, it ends the way it should, should end. So, uh, there, there you have it. I, I feel like, you know, I would give this an 8 out of 10. I think it's pretty cool, you know. It's different from the normal stuff that I've seen lately. Uh, I think Anya, like I mentioned, she's a great actress and does a phenomenal job in this series. Uh, and yeah, so if you like dramas, if you like Anya, if you like chess, if you like Netflix, uh, this is a show that I recommend. It's only seven episodes. Um, I wish they would have filmed maybe three more, but then at the same time, I'm probably com complaining that it just dragged on. So I guess I shouldn't say that. I, maybe I should just appreciate what I have. Dang it. Just preach to myself. All right. There you have it. That's my movie review. Uh, the Queen's Gambit, Netflix original series. So don't go on your Disney Plus trying to find this thing. It's not there. You won't find it. So if you like this uh, video, let me know by hitting the little likey button. And then if you've seen it, let me know in the comments. You know, uh, Let me know if you actually know any of those other Sicilians and things like that. Because I had no idea uh, those things had all these kind of meetings. I don't even know the names of the checkerboard, you know, like... I call it a checkerboard. Crap, is that the right term? See, I don't even know. I know how to play chess, but I'm an improv player, which you'll learn if you watch it. And like always, uh, hit subscribe. That way you're notified of future movie reviews or now TV shows. Thank you, everyone. Have a good one.